beams on O1 entry level, we're going to copy them to levels 2 through 6. So we are going to go to our project browser. We're going to go into floor plans. And we're going to double click entry. Give us a little bit of room. Um, by pressing the middle scroll button, you also have the ability to dynamically zoom. And at the same time, by de depressing it, you can use dynamic pan. So now we're going to go to the view toolbar. So now we're going to go to, all right, so we are going to click on this little house here, and it's the default 3D view, and it's a, a southwest, excuse me, southwest isometric view with hidden lines. So we go ahead and click on it, and that shows us a real nice view, and the next thing we're going to do is go to our design bar and click modify. We're going to select one beam, right click, and se say select all instances. All right, they all turn red to indicate that they've all been selected. Now a note to this feature is that this default view is the only 3D view that you can use the select all instances command the only one that's available in so keep that in your pocket uh, we're gonna go to um, click on the edit menu and say copy to clipboard we're gonna go back to the edit guy say paste aligned and select levels by name okay so now we can just uh, select any level that we want and we're going to select O2. We're going to hold the shift down so we can make a couple more selections. And that selects all of those guys. We click OK and right now it's taken everything that we had in red and it's going to build ourselves our model okay so if we notice that our very top isn't connected it's because we told the columns what height to stop at okay so it's not going to be connected which is fine because that's exactly what we wanted to see